Hey, and welcome back to another episode of our Power Platform Quick Tips. This session or this episode is going to be focused on Power Apps. And we're going to be looking at, again, another small tip to help your design make it easier and make you more efficient at your job. And this one, what we're going to be looking at is something called form mode and kind of be looking at how you can manipulate and use the different form modes that you have with inside of Power Apps whenever you're leveraging the native forms and how you can then apply them inside of different dynamic capabilities with inside Power Apps. So let's start by showing you the problem and then we'll show you how you can actually make this a much more dynamic solution. Let's take a look. All right, so what we're going to be looking at in this example is this header. And specifically what we want to do with this header is make it change dynamically based on the form mode that we're in. So what you may or may not realize is whenever you're working with forms, and oftentimes you'll see this when you're working with the default behavior with inside of Power Apps, you have one edit screen that uses one form. But that same edit screen and that same form can be relaunched in different modes. You can have it launch in a new mode, which means it's going to insert a record, or you can launch it in an edit mode, which means it's going to edit a record. So let me show you what the problem is, and then let's actually talk to how we solve this and make it more interesting. So here's our, our screen that we have. This is our, de our edit screen, excuse me. And you can see that right now it's in edit mode. What I'd like to do is I want to have on the very top this header show different text dynamically based on the mode of the form. So right now it says add an appointment, but really I'm kind of in the mode of editing an appointment. Same thing here. If I were to go back over here to the new entry here, if I go to create a new entry, this should say something like add a new record or add a new appointment. But it all says the same thing right now. It all says add appointment, with whether I'm trying to edit an appointment like you see here, or whether I'm trying to add a new appointment. It tends to show the same thing, and we don't want that. We want to make this more dynamic. So the way we can do that is we can exit the preview here. We can go up to our header, and we can manipulate the text of the header to actually return back different results. You could do this with something like an if statement. If you're familiar with if statements inside of Excel, it's fairly similar to what you would have done inside of Excel. And so let's walk through what we do here. I'm going to go ahead and do an if statement. I'm going to say if, OK, and I'll say if the, let's go over here, do our open parenthesis. If edit form one, which is the name of our form, I have not done some proper naming here like I probably should. But if edit form is in a certain mode, and we're going to check the mode by typing in dot mode. And you can see there's a mode property here. But if that mode equals new, OK, if it is new, then we want to return something like add a new appointment. And I need to put that in double quotes. So let's fix that like so. So if the form is in new mode, then it's going to launch and say add a new appointment. If it's not in new mode, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's in edit mode. And we're going to return back something more dynamic. I'm going to tell it that I actually want to turn back something like edit the appointment for, and we'll do our close parentheses here. And now we're going to concatenate this and tell it we want to pull back a value from the gallery, from whatever we happen to have selected in our gallery, which our gallery name is called Browse Gallery 1 here. So I'm going to type in Browse gallery one. So pull back from browse gallery one, whatever selected pet name we have here. Okay, so I'll say selected. Let me try to type it right. There we go. And then the column that I want to return back is the pet name here. So I'll type in pet and I'll let the IntelliSense kind of do the rest for me here. So let me give you a view here of the formula we've done. It's not too complex, but we're saying if the form dot mode equals new, then return back add a new appointment. If it's not new, then I want to return back the text, edit the appointment for, and then I want to pass in whatever I have selected from the gallery control that was prior to the screen, and I want to return back the pet name. The only thing I'm missing here is I need a little close parenthesis, so we'll do a close parenthesis here. And now, if we interact with this, let's check it out and see how it reacts. If I hit the preview button this time, you can see it says that edit, says edit the appointment for Shola, but I can go back, and if I select new appointment right here, it says add a new appointment. It's the exact same screen. It's the exact same control. But we've now made it dynamic so that depending on the way that you launch the edit form, so if I launch the, launch the edit form in edit mode here, it's going to pass in the name of the pet and assume that we're trying to edit that appointment. So that's it for this quick tip. Let's go do a quick review of what we talked about in this episode. All right, so in this episode, we talked about how you can dynamically leverage some of the 
capabilities behind the form mode. So we looked at the form mode and saw that you can launch the form in new mode or in edit mode. And based on how it launches, you can actually manipulate and use that mode in other places inside of your app. So in our case, we made it so that we could change the header text based on whatever mode our form happened to be in whenever it was launched. So that's really it for this quick tip. We want to show you things very quick, get precise, and show you the things that are uh, very helpful that you might be able to use right away. Hope you enjoy this. Again, my name is Devin Knight. If you're interested in some additional quick tips, let me know, and I can see what I can be able to create some quick, short videos for. Again, I'm trying to make them short and quick here for you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.